Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out my first video. Um, this could also be my last video. That sounds really, really daft, I get that. I, I'm not a fucking idiot, but I kind of... Let me explain, right? A couple of weeks ago, went shopping with our lass, and I saw the most amazing pair of Winkle Picker boots. And I weren't allowed to get them. Our lass told me that they were fucking horrible, they were too expensive at 35 quid, and I'm not having them. So, I didn't buy them. But fair enough, I went on to find a pretty nice nifty uh, kind of blazer, tweed, jackety thing. Which were also 35 quid. So, why is it alright for me to buy that and not books? But anyway, that's that. I'm digressing. I'm talking bollocks as usual. Today, I got paid. Early payday because of Christmas. And then, oh, I'd like to think it's worth feeling sorry for us. But it's probably just because of banking. And our banks will be closed over holiday. Today, I went shopping. I ended up buying another jacket, uh, quite a nice shirt, and a pair of smart jeans. And then decided I needed to buy some shoes to go with them. You can probably see where this is going, can't you? Um, I'm going to be killed tonight, I reckon. I think I'm going to be genuinely killed. Our lass is going to have me, and I'll probably not even get to edit this into a video and post it. Uh, I went over to local shopping place near where I'd already been to get these clothes that I bought and saw the very same pair of Winkle Picker boots on sale, you know, they'd gone down in price, they're only 27 quid instead of 35 but I still don't think that's going to make a difference and I'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble but in my defence they are really really sexy boots in fact, let me show you one sexy right? I mean it ain't just me it's not just me thinking that they are much better than they are, they are pretty damn snazzy boots and I'm thinking, because, it, right, it's my birthday on Christmas Day. If you don't know me, then you'll not know that. And if you're one of my mates that's watching this because I've blagged you into doing so, then you'll know that already. But, every year, for the last, pretty much since it turned drinking age, and probably before, to be perfectly honest, on Christmas Eve, we've gone out and got absolutely bladdered. Bring me birthday in with style, have a good time, and then try not to feel too hungover on Christmas Day. This year, I'm thinking that, you know, I might want to dress a little bit smarter. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do at the minute in life in general, to be honest. I'm trying to dress a bit smarter because I'm not an 18-year-old anymore. I'm not like a scruffy teenager that don't give a shit what he looks like. And yet I might have this big straggly beard and I might look a bit like a hobo. But that doesn't mean I can't dress a little bit nicer, does it? So I bought another suit jacket today. I got a shirt, a pair of quite smart jeans that will look alright. And then boots will just look fantastic with them jeans and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of them I think I might as well have bought I think I've done the right thing but if this doesn't ever make it onto internet I've been killed and you'll probably never know that so if this does get uploaded then chances are I ain't got in trouble or I have got in trouble but I've just been beat up instead of killed so at least we'll know that my other half's only a I want to say wife beater but you know that kind of don't make sense She's a, a spouse beater, we'll go with that. She's just a spouse beater rather than a murderer. So at least she's not going to get put away for life. Bonus. Right guys, I've just got ready for work. I've got to head off in a minute. So I'm just uh, putting this little bit up before uh, I actually have to disappear and head there. I'm hoping tonight to put a follow up to Bootgate, should we call it. We uh, some reactions, see how our last reacted to it and all that. Hopefully if that does go in there, that means, like I said, I'm not dead. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that'll be the reaction and I um, don't get shouted at too much because if I do get shouted at, I'll probably not want to uh, record another video. I do need to go to work now and that sucks because I've got a really bad headache and I feel quite sick. And that ain't fun when you do the job that I do, which is sorting through waste. No real nice way of putting it. Could say that I'm a recycler, but you know, actual job means I just chuck stuff in bins and separate plastic paper, card, that kind of thing. Not kind of job that you want to be feeling sick for, really, but need money, so I'll have to go in. I just hope I'm not sick on the way to work because that won't be fun when you're wearing a motorbike helmet. But anyway, I'm uh, off to work. I'll see you all later. Back from work, out of uniform, into a car. McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> that is seriously annoying. We've just got all the way to McDonald's, walked inside, cash only. 
Now I'm going to find a fucking cash machine. Not happy. Just gone back from McDonald's. Uh, I'm Rick actually full. The fuck's that about? That don't happen when you go to McDonald's. Uh, anyhow, probably should update you about what happened with uh, my boots. <laughs> I'm, I'm still here, so that's one good thing. Um, and I guess I went wrong, <laughs> let's put it that way. Uh, I also realised I kind of made our daddy to be a bit of a megalomaniac bitch, <laughs> which she really isn't. Um, I, I, I was joking, exaggerating for comedic effect, you know what it is. Um, when I said that I bought some it and she weren't going to be happy, the first thing she said is, you best not have bought another guitar. And then after that, I mean, when she found out I'd not bought another guitar, I mean, what else could I buy that would piss it off more than buying another one of them? So instead, she just kind of shrugged and said, why am I going to get pissed off with shoes? So A, it kind of proves how wrong I am. And B, I'm not in trouble. That's a bonus. Uh, yeah, just been to McDonald's after having to go there twice because we found out that it was cash only. So having to find a cash machine when Danny's not really used to driving on roads in Doncaster, that ain't fun. Uh, but we found one, went there, and I actually really enjoyed it for once, which is really unlike me for McDonald's. Because it normally, it don't fill me up, it tastes like cardboard and then that's that. But maybe it's because it was my idea and I quite fancied one myself. So maybe that's what it's to do with. I had one of them new festive burger things and it didn't taste like cardboard. So, have one, essentially. Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, last weekend before Christmas, um, be doing early shifts from rest from, what, from now on. I'm off tomorrow. Going to, uh, oh, yeah, that's the point. Uh, tomorrow, off to B&Q. Because this room used to be, the guy that used to live with us, used to share the house with us, Ashley, he moved out on Thursday. This used to be his bedroom, but now it's our spare room and it's turned into a makeup room for Danny in the morning to get ready and my music room, so it's got my guitars and my amp in and it's also going to be my vlogging room. Uh, so tomorrow, we're off to B&Q, I'm going to get some paint and I'm going to paint the walls a lovely new colour, make it all fresh and hopefully by the time I do my next video, whenever that's going to be, it'll look incredibly different in here and you'll have to let me know what you think, etc. I um, think that's just about it for this first one. Hopefully I'll get one done again in the next few days, but I can't promise anything because it is Christmas, and I know there's people that are doing one every single day as part of Vlogmas. You're still vlogging every day. I'm new to this, and I procrastinate whenever I can. I am an incredibly, incredibly lazy person. Don't let anybody tell you how different because the lying. I am the laziest person you will ever meet. Yeah, I probably am. Um, but I'll try and get one done, hopefully, either just before or just after Christmas. Maybe even on Christmas Day. We'll, uh, we'll have to see with that one. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.